my name is Dylan and welcome to Boost Math and I'll play some automation. Today we are going to be building a 300ZX uh, competitor. Uh, I've already designed it, it's um, going to be mid-engined. It's going to load now. Laptop I'm playing this on isn't particularly good, so loading times can be a bit of a pain sometimes, which is why I've already pre-designed the car. Um, just because it's easier. Um, okay, I haven't done engines yet. Uh, so, if I show you this out, the body itself is uh, modded. An engine, uh, we're going to make a new engine anyway. Uh, but it's monocoque steel. I would go for something like galvanized or corrosion resistant steel. But at the moment, they don't make a difference. Because uh, like Rust hasn't been programmed into the game yet. So, um, doing it, there's no real benefit. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, mid transverse, just because it's a tiny bit better for what we're doing. Um, lower service costs and um, higher cabin space. Um, cooling isn't too important. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah. Um, it's just um, it's just a better thing. Um, also lower production unit. Basically everything about this is better for a uh, small sports car. Uh, double wishbone because it's kind of a nice balance between McPherson and Struts, which are, uh, um, I'd say, a bit too, um, bit too economy car um, for this. But at the same time, push rod is racing car. Um, say same deal for um, panel material. Actually, you know what, we're going to go with partial al aluminium just so we can save a bit of weight. Just the weight here is very high. Whereas the weight is average for um, uh, for partial aluminium and there's fiberglass, um, which is good. Um, Styling wise, uh, not quite sure why it does that. Um, the cooling on the front here is mostly for show, it does very little, if I click on this, um, 34.6 uh, kilojoules, and uh, again, 34.6, yeah, it does, it does very little for cooling, so I've just decided to, um, uh, just well, not decide to do anything, but that's just to make the front look better. All the cooling it comes from this, surprisingly. Uh, this rear grill on the back where the headlights are. Headlights, taillights are. Um, yeah, we've got a lip here as well. Help downforce. Um, number plate holder. Um, side profile is kind of plain, but I don't need any grills because of the, um, sort of the uh, grill that I put on the back. Um, so, um, yeah, it's rear wheel drive. Um, now to design the engine. Um, I mean, uh, sure, I could show you, I could just use that one, but um, I kind of just prefer to uh, build one up. Um, do we want... um, actually, looking at it, the, isn't. Uh, I mean, sure, it's kind of more expensive. Like, one side's too bad. Um, okay, I I, will, I am going to change the family capacity, I'm going to run a lot lower stroke, but, um, okay, the head is quite a bit more expensive, um, compared with the cast iron, so we'll have a cast head, um, I think, stroke, Uh, you ideally want to have as low stroke as possible. Uh, I want to ideally have it just below 3 litres. I'll limit. Lower that. Lower it again. 
perfect. Okay, so there we go. That's the board and stroke. Uh, any mods that I use, by the way, um, obviously there's no engine mods at the moment. Uh, all of them come from the workshop. Um, I don't know, we should go with lightweight forged, even though torque isn't going to be particularly high. I think forged is sure it's less weight on this one, but uh, production unit is um, quite a bit higher, and so is the material cost. This uh, for now. Cam profile will go with 60. And low compression ratio, do we want that? Um, 6 to 5 to 1, or 7.5 to 1, even. Uh, we are going to have a twin turbo with a large air intake. Um, kind of large um, turbo. Uh, we'll just go with that for that. I mean, obviously it isn't going to work. Oh, we're not going to make too much power. Um, right, we Uh, premium fuel, sure. Lean it out a bit because it, it's um, so much easier to get better fuel economy than the uh, power gain you get from uh, running it uh, slightly richer. Um, since we've run such low compression, we could probably go fairly high. Rev it to 7k. Uh, short cast. Uh, sure, we'll run that. High flow, freeway, um, straight through, exhaust, and we're making 304 horsepower. So that's already better than the 300 set. Well, that's what it was getting to the wheels, I'm pretty sure. So, how much fuel octane do we have to play with? Quite a lot. So, we have 95. So, when that reaches 95, um, we get compression ratio issues. So, um, no, um, would be the best thing. Show. I'll graze it a bit. Um, graze that. Yeah, that instantly. Get these up. Um, also, um, yeah, if we run more boost, see, the moment I go over, um, 50, uh, 95 even, uh, fuel octane, uh, I get compression ratio issues. Right, let's try higher AR ratio. Which, um, yeah, if you want to pause the video and read that, um, I think it's the, um, I think it's like the pipe leading up to the turbo, uh, from what I can gather. Bigger turbo. It wants me to. Interesting. Presser. So that helps, but um, at the same time, sort of um, it increases the uh, compression, not compression ratio. It increases the uh, fuel octane. The uh, wrong. Right. I'm hoping for at least um, 230 with the economy being below. Point uh, eight um, pounds per HPH. Can somebody explain to me what that is in the comments? Um, okay. Um, what else can we do? Uh, no, that doesn't work. I guess I could run it. Like richer. See, there you get very little power gains. The uh, real gain is with the uh, lower fuel octane. Right, so we'll just keep going up now. If we can get 350, I'll be happy. Um, I'm also not going to touch the quality sliders as um, I mean, already we're on uh, 51.4 production units. Um, this is going to be an expensive engine. Smaller turbo compressor, even. What if we have a smaller? Okay, um, that does nothing except for makes the engine better. Um, okay, 
Uh, right, we lean it just a bit. And, um, kind of just want to get it as close as possible with the um, fuel octane, because otherwise you've just got wasted potential in the engine. There we go. Okay, right, so that's it. Um, 345 horsepower, that's quite good for an engine, um, I think. Well, definitely if we ran it on super, um, on this last tab. Um, but, uh, and possibly if I played around with the turbos more. But, uh, I kind of want to keep this as a short video. Um, well, well, not short, but kind of try and keep it down a bit. Um, we'll go for spacing like that. Geared LSD. Um, sports compound. Um, wider rear tyres. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's quite loud on my TV. Is, uh, I've got this connected, I've got my laptop connected up to my TV, which is then connected to, oh, oh gosh, um, um maybe I'll be able to, uh, cut that out, who knows, um, right, what wheels, um, Oh yeah, um, if I did bother to cut that out, then you'll have no idea what just happened, and I'll look ten times more professional than I actually was. That's where I look less professional, because I just said about nothing happening. Said something about uh, something that didn't happen, even. Okay, uh, T-37s? He kind of fit, this car. Uh, RPF-01s, I think. And tires like this. Vented discs are OP, so um, go with those. Actually, we'll have three pistons all around. No active cool. Could have sworn it there was um. When I tried this. Oh, don't have quite enough cooling. Um, right, let's just stick a vent somewhere. I don't know. Um, there, there. I go saying about how um, you know, I won't need anything. I just put that there. The wrong way to flip it. Flip it. Okay, perfect. That gives me um, plenty of cooling then for brakes as well. I'm just going to um, mix out. Just lower it slightly. Increase it just so we're right on the edge. A layer of cooling airflow. Uh, that works. Um, two seats. I guess you could have a bench along the front. Premium interior. Um, a standard cassette, I think. Uh, all the assists because Japan. Um, and technology and stuff. Uh, progressive. I'm not going to have hydro pneumatic because low sportiness, but um, air again is a bit too expensive. We will have um, adaptive dampers. If we just go with the sport setup. Oh, this is going to be oversteer. Um I mean it's not too bad. Um Right. Let me just um check what the um three fifty the uh specs are. Um okay right so its top speed was hundred and fifty five. Um uh, it also had a five speed manual like this. But it, it was uh, governed, so I don't know. We'll set it to a. How fast do you reckon we can get this? Yeah, I didn't think so. 
Um, sure, we'll go like that. Sean spacing, well, put more spacing towards the bottom end. Ooh, this isn't, yeah, particularly fuel efficient. Um, uh, doesn't actually say, um, oh wait, um, here's a, uh, good, um, alright, so I've got more valves per cylinder. 40 more horsepower, um, uh, it's got a square, uh, um, uh, boron stroke, um, oh, it is cast iron and aluminum head, uh, cast iron block. Um, wow, it's sold for, it's sold for $30,000, um, MPG City and Highway. We're about the same, I'd assume. It gets lower city. But, um, better highway than uh, our fuel. 60. It's just 7.5 seconds here, but the Wikipedia, uh, in like a. I'm looking at a Nissan 300 ZX forum. Um,. Yeah, um, uh, Wikipedia says, uh, five to six seconds, depending on the source. Um, so we're about that, um, okay, I really need to get drive build here. Um, big brakes, front and rear. Should be good, yeah, uh, it's helped with both. Um, I think it's going to be a sporty car. I know the uh, Fringe ZX was kind of a Grand Tour. Um, uh, this is a um, a more sort of sporty racing car. Um, less front camber, slightly more rear camber. Um, increase the front sway bar. Okay. Uh, Oh wow, sportiness is uh, going through the roof. Um, it's doing quite well on stats, actually. Um, come on. Um, okay, that's worth it, that jump in uh, drive build heat. Yeah, you can see now it's starting to understeer. Okay. Actually, um, right. If we actually, if we just put more front camber on it, right? Uh, stiffen up the front sway bar so it's even. No, I was hoping that would. No, oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm not particularly good at suspension tuning. Um, nope, apparently you like that better. Um, oh yeah, that less front camber. Well done, me. Um, right. It, it, yeah, this entire video is just me umming and ahhing on uh, trying to make a decent car. And it's 20 minutes of that. I'm probably not that interesting, but you know. Um, yeah, I'm scrolling on it. Um, so it does well in fun premium, which is, yeah, um, muscle, kind of, I guess. I mean, I could see that. And, uh, pony. Well, I mean, everything in this game's a pony car, so no surprise there. No, seriously, I made a, uh, front wheel drive 1.6 litre economy car, um, that, uh, did 35 miles to the gallon in uh, 1975 and that came to the pony car so who knows um bit of quality there 
bit of quality that just um yeah just helps everything here um okay what else can i do um actually if i stiffen up the rear dampers um i was hoping that would help more because um because uh, stiffening up the dampers it sort of um, makes the car stiffer because of or helps it more because all the weight's there because of the engine um Actually, yeah, that's making it under. Right, if we go three kilograms a millimeter, um, I am going to aim for it to be more on the sporty side. I mean, preferably, I'd like drivability to be above forty, um, but you know, uh, not too desperate about it. Um, okay, so that's our limit there. Um, cool. Um, Okay, so, um, let's, um, right, okay, right, here's the challenge now. I want you to, um, beat this car, actually, if I just go into factories, um, yeah, if I just, uh, go straight through, um, no changing anything, um, at all, so, no, uh, team, uh, leaders or engineering team, uh, don't change your focus or funding, um, or whatever, just one model, um, same for engine, just one engine, um, medium, actually, go with a large factory, um, same for, um, engine will have medium, I think. Okay, we're gonna need, that's a bit over the top. Um, hmm, um, right, we can go medium actually. Okay, alright, medium for everything. Um, right. You know what? If we go medium for everything, medium for both of them. Uh, for all the factories, uh, so if your engine doesn't work in, or if your car doesn't uh, work in a medium factory, uh, I don't think there's anything that requires a large factory there. Um, don't mess around with any sliders, add uh, team leaders or anything. Um, see how your, yours does uh, compared to mine. Yeah, I've lost some points there. Um, also, you know what, we'll have 20% um, markup. Um, okay, and, um, compare your car to mine. Uh, these are the stats. Um, so go to test track. Try and make a better car for cheaper. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it off here. Now I've been sort of rambling on for a bit. Uh, but, um, yeah, um, could have gone to these, actually. Um, looking at, uh, yeah, driver assist engine. And the steer over there. okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it off here. hope you enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, that's all for now. Uh